Hey there! Today we'll explore one of the most mind-boggling concepts in quantum mechanics. Don't worry, we'll break it down in simple terms so you can grasp the basics of this mysterious realm. Let's get started. Have you ever used a microscope? When you look at things with your naked eyes and then look at the same things through a microscope, they all seem alien and like some mysterious world. Now if you zoom in on those same things even more, something fascinating will appear. Do you know what it is? These are electrons, neutrons, and protons, the ones we learned about in school. The question arises, how much can we zoom in on any object? What are the limits? Well, the last limit is that there won't be any more zooming beyond that point. If we keep zooming in on any object until the very end, what will we find at the last point? You must be wondering about these questions. And the answer is that if we keep zooming in, we'll find particles known as quarks, even smaller than atoms. When you go past them and go even deeper, something extraordinary awaits. At this stage, there is only energy, in the form of waves. Scientists, when they study these particles closely, see them as wave-like entities. This is the realm of quantum mechanics. Quantum physics and quantum mechanics are two names for the same thing. In the 20th century, physics split into two main parts. One is the regular physics we learn at school, which deals with simple things like throwing a ball and understanding how gravity affects it. The other part is called quantum mechanics, which operates on very tiny levels and deals with objects moving at very high speeds. This aspect is studied in modern physics, meaning it is taught in quantum mechanics. However, in quantum physics, nothing happens in a definite way at any given time. Quantum physics is essentially a part of physics, where we study extremely small-scale phenomena and conduct new research based on their principles. First, wave-particle duality. A new way of looking at the world emerged with a fascinating experiment called the double-slit experiment. It made a scientist question his beliefs because the results were hard to accept. In this video, we'll explore what the experiment is and what it taught us. Throughout history, people wanted to understand the world at its finest level. They believed everything was made up of tiny, invisible particles called atoms. Eventually, experiments confirmed this atomic theory. As technology advanced, we discovered even smaller particles inside atoms called subatomic particles. In the 20th century, we learned there are mainly three types of subatomic particles. All matter is made of atoms, and everything around us is made of these tiny atomic building blocks. But there's still more to uncover. The double-slit experiment is a fascinating test in science. It involves shooting tiny particles like electrons through two narrow openings in a plate. When we use waves, like light or water waves, they create a pattern on a screen showing interference. But here's the mind-boggling part. When we use individual particles like electrons, they still create an interference pattern, just like waves. It's like each electron is passing through both slits at the same time. To make it even weirder, when we try to watch which slit each electron goes through, the interference pattern disappears. It's as if the electrons know they are being watched and act differently. This experiment led scientists to discover that particles and waves can behave in strange ways, and it opened the door to a whole new field called quantum mechanics. It's a branch of science that deals with the strange and fascinating world of the tiniest building blocks of the universe. Second superposition. Erwin Schrödinger, a famous scientist, came up with a strange idea to explain some weird things in quantum physics. He imagined a cat in a box with a radioactive material that had a 50-50% chance of decaying and releasing poison. Until someone opened the box to check, the cat would be both alive and dead at the same time, which sounds bizarre. This experiment was meant to show that some things in quantum physics behave in weird ways until we observe them. It raised questions about whether these strange behaviors also apply to big things, like cats or other living beings. Scientists debated about what this experiment meant and whether it suggested the existence of multiple universes. However, it's important to know that the Schrodinger's cat experiment was just a thought experiment to challenge our understanding of quantum mechanics. In real life, we don't have cats that are both alive and dead at the same time.
quantum physics remains a fascinating and complex field that scientists continue to explore and understand better. This experiment illustrates some peculiar aspects of quantum physics, which can be confusing and counterintuitive when applied to everyday objects and living beings. The idea of something being both alive and dead at the same time seems odd and is known as a superposition state. However, this phenomenon is not observable in our macroscopic world and is only relevant in the quantum realm of very tiny particles. In the beginning, when they introduced this experiment to the world, people tried hard to understand and believe in it using logic and common sense. But quantum physics, the branch of science it belongs to, doesn't always follow our usual logic. In this experiment and others related to quantum particles, they found something strange. These particles can exist in different states and when not observed, they can be in multiple states at once. The double slit experiment led to a fascinating idea. Imagine there's a box with a cat inside and two possibilities exist. Either the cat is alive when we open the box or the cat is dead. Scientists believe that at that moment, the universe splits into two separate timelines. In one timeline, the cat is alive, and in the other, the cat is dead, creating two different universes. This idea suggests that whenever the universe faces a choice or a situation with multiple possibilities, it splits itself into different versions, forming separate universes with different outcomes. Quantum physics is a branch of science that deals with very tiny particles, like atoms and electrons. These particles can be in multiple places at once and do different things at the same time. It's quite strange and doesn't match our everyday experience. Imagine you have a special particle, and when you're not looking at it, it exists in many different states simultaneously. But as soon as you try to observe it, it picks only one state, as if it's doing just one thing. This is called the collapse of the wave function. This behavior is weird because we don't see such things in our usual world. Scientists call it superposition, where particles can exist in all possible states until they are measured. It's a fascinating aspect of the quantum world and makes quantum physics very interesting to study. If you're still finding it difficult to understand this concept, I recommend rewinding a few seconds and listening to the entire explanation again. I'm confident that doing so will help you grasp everything more clearly. 3. Entanglement. Imagine you have two special particles named John and Don. When they come into contact with each other, they become connected in a very strange and unique way. It's like they share a special bond. Now let's say you keep with you, and someone takes Don very far away, like 1,000 kilometers. Normally, when things are far apart, they don't affect each other. But with these special particles, something extraordinary happens. If you do something to John, like making it spin in a certain direction, instantly, Don, no matter how far away, will start spinning in the opposite direction. It's like they know what the other is doing without talking to each other. This is called quantum entanglement. It's a very weird and mysterious behavior that happens at the tiniest level of the universe, called the quantum level. Scientists have proven that it's real, even though they don't completely understand how it works. What's even more amazing is that this idea suggests that everything in the universe is connected at this fundamental level. So even if people or things seem far apart, there might still be a hidden connection between them that we can't see with our eyes. But remember, this strange connection only happens at the tiny quantum level and doesn't affect our everyday lives. It's like a secret hidden in the smallest parts of nature that scientists are still trying to unravel. Fourth Theory of Mind and Consciousness Many prominent physicists, including Henry Stapp and several others like him, support this controversial theory known as the universe created by consciousness thoughts. According to this idea, consciousness, our awareness and thoughts, plays a crucial role in shaping our world. They suggest that things exist in a wave-like form until someone observes them. Once observed, they appear as solid objects. To put it simply, this theory suggests that our thoughts have the power to influence and change the way things appear in the world around us. It's like the famous example of the particle-wave duality, where electrons can behave as both particles and waves depending on whether someone is observing them or not. This connection between consciousness and the behavior of the tiny building blocks of our universe, like electrons, is fascinating and has deep implications. 
Fifth time is an illusion. Theoretical physicist Carlo Rovelli, in his book The Order of Time, suggests that time doesn't work the way we usually think. At the quantum level, the world can function without a fixed timeline. When we observe events in our everyday lives, it seems like time is moving in a straightforward manner, with one thing leading to another. This principle of cause and effect makes it feel like everything follows a clear order. However, in the quantum realm, events happen in a more random and unpredictable way, not in a linear sequence. This means that what we perceive as a normal, linear progression in life is not the same when looked at from a quantum perspective. Quantum mechanics shows that events can occur in a non-linear fashion, making our understanding of reality more complex and fascinating. 6. Multiple Worlds and Quantum Immortality The multiple worlds hypothesis suggests that there are countless other universes besides our own. Each of these universes is like a copy of ours, but with different variations and situations. So, there are infinite versions of you, me, and everyone else in different universes. For example, in one universe you might be successful, while in another, you could be facing challenges or even be in a completely different situation. All the possibilities you can imagine about yourself are real in some universe. This idea can help explain dreams. Dreams are not just random. They might be real experiences from another universe that we perceive as dreams. According to this theory, when someone dies in one universe, they continue to exist in another universe. So in a way, they never truly die. They just move to a different version of reality. It's a fascinating concept that suggests there are endless possibilities and versions of ourselves across the multiverse. If you found this video informative, please show your appreciation by liking and subscribing to the channel for more content like this. If you're interested in the ISRO lunar mission, click on the video. Thank you, and see you soon in the next video.